Hi, this is so our reefer trailer that we're selling here. It's converted over to a tiny house. Uh, it's about 250 square feet. Uh, this is the outside view, of obviously, and you can see here there's a outside plug-in. Um, and there, uh, it's wired by a journeyman electrician. All the wiring is good. There's lots of plugs there. There's two outside plugs. This is where you'd hook your power up to, where that out, where that uh, heavy cable comes out of. We put a plug on there. There's a light there, a uh, window, sorry, uh, for the living room. You can see the doorway, and again, another plug beside the door, a light above it, and windows inside, window in, above the kitchen sink, and then you can see the, the tank there. And uh, the trail is pretty in good shape. The exterior's got a few scratches, I guess you would call them. It looks like somebody ran dragged it against a tree or something you know what I mean but they're very minor it doesn't hurt it whatsoever uh, there's where the re refrigerated unit actually was we put a window in there that's a bedroom end and there you can see the hookups for the air and the lights and so on my shadows in there and this is the side of it. it's a little bit of getting in the dark here but you can see it um, up there's the uh, air conditioner and just give a little shot underneath. I don't know if you can see anything in there or not, but the inside, the in, underneath is very good shape, extreme good shape. Um, carriage, everything works as it should. You can there's some scratches again there. Uh, so window here for the kitchen area, living room, and then we got the shot of the tires here. Tires are in relatively good shape. And then we go up to the top there, and we can see the vent for the dryer or the not the dryer i apologize for the bathroom vent for the shower and there is the plumbing stack to vent all the plumbing we get around to the back here back's in very good shape the door seals are all good uh, absolutely no air comes through them the it's the door is about two inches thick so extruded insulation inside it which were injected in so here we go we're back to the front Rear tires, you can see that black pipe, that's where the sewage comes out. Um, a set of steps here to go with the trailer, and then so now we're coming into it. And so here we're coming in, turn the lights on here. So to, the, to our left is the kitchen. And you can see lots of cabinets here, little cabinet here. Hopefully, you can see for storage of boots, coats, or uh, mitts, gloves, etc. So that there's their cabinet there, air conditioning up there. Um, more cabinets here, lots of drawers, lots of doors. Here's our room for our uh, stove, pre-wired in. There's a spot there for a range hood. There's wiring right above there, very easy to access to. Um, lots and lots of cat cabinets. Uh, there's drawers here, all on the slide drawer hardware. Cutting board, more drawers. And then we scan around to here, just a little spot if you want to sort of sit down here while you're eating dinner. Uh, to watch television over on that wall or wherever you put it, if you put one. Again, here's the upper cabinets. There's that window facing outside. There's lots of light in this thing. Uh, counter plugs. Again, they're uh, wired in by a journeyman electrician. Lots of, lots of storage here under the sink. You can see the PEX plumbing. Everything's PEX here, all modern plumbing. Everything brand, brand new in there. And again, more doors here. More drawers. And double wide sink, of course. This is a spot here. We might get it back up a little bit here. But this is a spot for a, a side by side refrigerator freezer unit. We made it extra wide so people could uh, have one of them if they'd like. This goes uh, into the bedroom here. So you open the bedroom and again, you lots of light coming in here. Nice big window. Um, again, it's solid uh, 
three quarter inch uh, tongue and groove wood all around again. Lots of plug-ins there, plug in there, plug in there, 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 and over there. Here's our baseboard heater. Uh, there's the thermostat on the wall right there, and of course there's a light switch right there. Uh, built in a wired in smoke alarm. Nice LED lights everywhere. Uh, nice ceiling everywhere. And again, everything's solid wood here. Okay, here's the floor on the kitchen. The floor goes right through this, so there's no thresholds. You can just, um, we spent some extra time doing it that way. I think it paid off. Here's our air conditioning again. A nice bright light facing the back, or face a window facing the back. And here's a view of the door entrance coming in, some code hooks there. And again, nice bright light, windows open up. All the windows open up here, of course. And again, plug-ins everywhere. Uh, baseboard heat on this wall, baseboard heater on this wall, and all controlled by this thermostat here. And on the, again, on this wall, we have a spot for the TV to go into if you wish. It's pre-wired for the coax going through the walls. Uh, plug up there so you don't have wires hanging down from your TV to the floor. And what else can I say? Again, there's the ceiling. Uh, light's kind of bright, but um, and there's again it's a car. I think it's a carbon monoxide and a smoke detector. That one. <clears throat> this goes into our bathroom here. Okay, so we open it up, turn some lights on here. So we've got uh, full size bathroom. It's got all the it's got a full size shower, sink, uh, toilet, some storage cabinets above there. Lots of room there, mirror, sink, toilet, uh, you can adjust it for the flow, how much flow you want through, so you're not using much water. Uh, close the door here, so that's what it looks like in here, here's our full size shower, I can't really get, see if I can get it all in here in the picture. Nice full size shower, got lots of, lots of pressure here, we got a 60 uh, pounds per square inch pump, I'll show you in the in a second here, we've got storage above the shower. There's the vent that goes outside. Um, here's the dryer vent in ready to install if people wish. It's included, we just haven't made the hole because we don't know if somebody wants it. Uh, here's the spot for the dryer, uh, stackable washer and dryer. As you can see it's wired in. Uh, there's for the drain, the washing, wash machine drain. Plug in for the, the bat or the, the wash machine plug in for the dryer and then this of course is where that pipe would be going through here uh, this is access the little access panel uh, right here into the shower for the if you have to ever get at the plumbing someday and as well we have uh, a light up there like uh, there's our, our fan exhaust fan going out and as well there's a heat bulb up there that is controlled with the same switch so that it uh, decreases the amount of steam that is produced when you're having a shower so it's all the amenities in it. There's our, our baseboard heater, and there's the thermostat that controls that. It's actually a pretty good spot for the baseboard heat because it, if, if your toilet is sweating, that helps a lot with it. This goes into the utility room. So this is at the end of the trailer. So you got a 40 gallon hot water tank. We have uh, a storage cabinet here. Yeah, there's lots of storage in here. Here's the coax cable that's wired in, so if you're having a satellite dish or whatever, you bring it in here and then and then it goes through the walls to that plug in the, in the living room. 100 watt amp, fully labeled panel, lots of room for, for extra if you want to add on or if you want to add some circuits. Um, underneath here is our pressure system. It's an on-demand pump that goes up to 60 pounds per square inch. Um, we didn't put a pressure tank in here just to save on storage room but it works very very well here's our 200 gallon tank a fresh water tank and above that is more wall cabinets here's the doors to the back there's absolutely no wind that comes through this if they're very well sealed uh, very warm uh, i say it's like two inches of uh, uh injected uh 
foam insulation, very good. And there's an access uh, if you want to bring the water in that way, or you can simply open the outside doors, uh, bring the water in that way, or you could simply drill a hole through here, and we can do that if you wish. Uh, drill a hole through here and just have the plumbing directly into the tank and access it from the outside. Plug in there, another plug in there, another plug in there for the pump. Okay. And the ceiling is the same as everywhere else, and then there's our another built-in smoke detector. So I think I've got it all. Let's turn these lights off here. <clears throat> Here's a view from this end. There's lots of room. It's unbelievable how much uh, room there is when you first walk into these things. It looks uh, amazingly wide. But that's about it. The styrofoam is uh, the the styrofoam in the in, uh, in the walls. There's two inches there. Plus there's two inches of the uh, injected foam straight from the factory for the reefer trailer. Uh, so very very easy to heat a very comfortable no drafts whatsoever and it's uh, it's a good nice home for somebody thank you